In this section, we'll be solving equations using addition. Uh, let's run through a few examples. Let's say we have x minus 2 equals 7. Now, when we solve an equation, what we want to do is we want to get the variable on one side and everything else on the other side. Now, on the same side as x, we have a minus 2. So to get rid of this minus 2, we're going to add 2. Minus 2 and a positive 2 will cancel out to give us 0. Now, the important thing about equation is we want to keep the balance. Whatever we do on one side, we want to do on the other side. So if we add 2 on this side, we need to add 2 on this side. Okay, that's the most important thing when we talk about equations is we want to keep the equal um, and it's going to be balanced. So we got x left over here equals 7 plus 2 is 9. So x equals 9. Now we can always check our answer by plugging in 9 everywhere we see for x. Um, if you need a refresher, go ahead and look at the uh, uh, solving word problems or evaluating algebraic expressions where we uh, specifically talked about checking our equations. We should never get one wrong because we can check it every time. Let's look at another one. Let's say we have x minus 9 equals 1. Well again we want to get the x on one side and everything else on the other side. So we do that by adding 9 to this side which will cancel out this minus 9. Whatever we do on one side we have to do on the other side. So this cancels and this becomes x equals, over here we have 1 plus 9 which is 10. So x equals 10 is our answer. So if we plug in 10 right here then this equation will remain true. Okay, let's take a look at a few more. Let's say we have x minus 2.5 equals minus 3. Okay, here we have a decimal but it'll work the same way. To get rid of this minus 2.5 and have x all by itself over here we simply add 2.5. And recall, whatever we do on one side, uh, we have to do on the other side to keep the balance in the equation. So we're going to add 2.5 over here as well. Okay. This will cancel out, leaving just x on the left side. Then over here, we have a minus 3 and a plus 2.5, which gives us a minus 0 0.5. So x equals a minus 0 0.5. Okay, very straightforward. Um, whatever we uh, we want to get the variable alone on one side. So if we have subtraction on our variable side, we're going to use addition to cancel out the subtraction. Okay, let's look at another. Let's say we have y minus one half. That's going to equal three over four. Okay, we have a, two, a couple rational numbers here. Um, don't get excited about changing the variable. Y is just a placeholder. To get rid of this one half over here and get Y by itself, we're going to add a one half. Okay, so a plus one half and a minus one half will cancel out. Whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other side. So let's add a one half on the right side as well. That'll, keep, that'll leave us Y on this side, on the left side. Over here we have 3 fourths, let's rewrite this, 3 fourths plus 1 half. Okay, um, we're going to have to change 1 half into a fraction with a denominator of 4 so we can just add straight across. So we can write, rewrite this as 3 fourths plus 2 fourths. 2 fourths is the same as 1 half just over a different denominator. 3 plus 2 is 5 and we still have 4 so y equals 5 fourths is our answer to this equation. Okay, let's do, let's do a couple more. Let's say we have z, just want to get you familiar with using, comfortable with using different variables. z minus 11 equals 1 fourth. Okay, what do we do here? Well, we want to get the variable z all by itself and everything else on the other side. We have a minus 11 here, so we'll add 11 on both sides. Okay. This is going to cancel out, leaving a z on the left side. And then over here we have 1 fourth plus an 11. Okay, so we need to change this 11 to a rational number so we can add two rational numbers. So let's just write it over 1. And we need to write it with a common denominator. Um, we can multiply this by 4 over 4, which gives us, we'll rewrite the 1 fourth 
And 11 over 1 is the same as 44 over 4. 1 plus 44 is 45, and we have the 4 at the bottom. So 44 fifths is our answer. Z equals 44 fifths. Okay, very straightforward. Let's get in a little more practice. Let's say we have x minus 5 equals 0. Okay, we want x all by itself, so we're going to add 5 over here to get rid of this minus 5. We have to do the same on the other side. This cancels. It's going to leave us just x on the left side and 0 plus 5 on the right side. And that means x equals 5. All right, let's run through one more. If we can find some room here down at the bottom. Let's say we have x minus 10 equals a minus 20. OK, once again, we just want to get our x on the left side and everything else on the right side. So to get rid of this minus 10, we're going to add 10. Whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other side. Minus 10 and plus 10 cancel, just leaving x. And on the right side, we have minus 20 and a positive 10, which is a minus 10. And that's our answer. Now, I'll leave these for you to uh, go back and check. Um, we can basically plug in the value of our variable into our original equation, and it should hold true. So when we see subtraction in our equation, uh, we can simply um, take care of that by adding whatever we're subtracting. And whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other side to maintain the balance in our equation. I'll see you soon.